guys, it's Dragon Feather and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one because I'm actually going to start and embark on the epic journey of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Uh, maybe it's not that serious, but uh, I wanted to do the YouTube Pagan Challenge because uh, the person, Irina, uh, she's on my collab channel with me, the Pagan Ponders collab channel, and she's doing it on her personal channel and I thought it was an awesome idea and she totally inspired me to do it, so I'm going to do it. Um, the YouTube Pagan Challenge is one question every week for 52 weeks, um, so for a year, so this will be going on for a while and I hope you guys are as excited as I am, um, which leads me to the first question and the first video topic for the YouTube Pagan Challenge, which is how did you find your path? Now I'm pretty sure I have a video on this, but I haven't really gone um, more in depth about how I found my more recent path. Um, the draconic path, but that's the path that I practice these days. Um, I mainly focus on the draconic path, but I do have, uh, I do incorporate uh, principles and traditions from Wicca and Buddhism and some other um, spiritual paths as well. So for my particular path, the draconic path, uh, was actually recommended to me by one of you guys, so thank you for changing my life. Um, and I was so fascinated with it and my journey to be a whole pagan kind of started with Wicca years and years ago. Um, I was always naturally witchy and I absolutely adored um, making, I called them capotions when I was little. Um, I've had a rock collection for as long as I can remember. Um, I think I got my first crystals when I was maybe one or two. Um, I've always been fascinated with dragons and they've been a huge part of my life my whole life and um, I've been drawing them, I've been seeing them, I've been collecting them for my entire existence in this lifetime and it's been an incredible path to follow and I ended up uh, str like I ended up in elementary school I was fascinated with um, the Egyptian mythology and it really rung true with my soul and so I kind of started looking into that a little bit when I was a child and then I started um, creating images for different types of dragons, um, like dragons of the elements, um, just because the Egyptian mythology had that too and so I wanted to kind of incorporate dragons into that. Little did I know that it was dragons, there's already a thing like that for dragons and I was just um, in tune with the whole draconic um, hierarchy, if you will. So. Um, later on down the road, I ended up discovering Wicca uh, through a book that my dad bought me called Moon Spells. Um, I'll leave a link if you guys want to purchase the book down below, but it's a really awesome book and it talks a very little bit about Wicca. And out of curiosity, I searched it on the internet and I found my friend Holistic Alchemy, who was Jeremy Pagan 94 at the time, and he and some other YouTubers like Charming Pixie Flora, Akasha Wolf, um, and, you know, like Tiptoe Chick and uh, The Shoe Whisper, all those beautiful pagans um, that we have in our pagan community, um, inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. And I started my YouTube channel as an online book of shadows. And through you guys, I ended up discovering the draconic path. And, well, now I'm here. And it's absolutely incredible. And I feel so connected on such a very intimate level. Um, and I feel a lot of people don't really... Um, know much about the Draconic Path. I feel like it's still a very hidden and very um, unknown uh, territory to explore, if you will. Um, but it's definitely changed my life for the best and it's an incredible path to walk on. So if you guys are curious about um, Draconic Wicca or the Draconic Path, I'll leave some links down below to some other videos that I've made if you guys are interested for that as well. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, stay geeky cheeky and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be.